Hey everybody, Will Tompkins here at Tom Cruise Studios, Live Music in Austin, bringing you episode number 10 for uh, Three Beers and a Whiskey featuring Colorblind. Here's beer number one. Hey everybody, Tom Cruise Studios, Live Music in Austin, tonight with another episode of Three Beers and a Whiskey, we have with us special guests in the house, Colorblind. We've got Tyler and Travis from... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> from the band Colorblind, <laughs> so uh, they're joining us. We're gonna just sit down and do our, uh, you know, normal thing: drink some beer, have a whiskey, <clears throat> bullshit about whatever comes up. We also have joining us uh, special guest bartending tonight. We've got Angelina Sky, uh, Miss Cruz Tompkins is down in Houston. Um, so uh, uh, want to give a, a special props or hello. Happy birthday to my, my son Stephen Tompkins. Today is his 28th birthday. So, you know, happy birthday, Stephen. And what Miss Cruz Tompkins is doing at, down in Houston is celebrating Miss uh, Jennifer's birthday. So, she's 24. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, she looks 24, right? That's what I was supposed to say. Uh, so, anyway, happy birthday, Jennifer. Um, all right, guys. So, anyway, hey, cheers, man. Cheers. Thank you guys for joining us. Thank you very much. Um, absolutely, man. So, uh, colorblind. I and I was introduced to you guys from neighbor and friend Kendall sitting over there in the corner, um, who's helped us out on the show before. Um, he knows. Both of y'all from school? Or uh, just me. Okay. We okay. grew up. I think he was a, a year older than me. We went to Bowie and Bowie knew him from there. So okay, you, you threw the school out there. What the, and we actually had a conversation on the phone, but I'm gonna have to throw this in here again. What the hell is up with Bowie and like the musical talent that pours out of Man. that school? It's uh, there's a. I mean, I remember going there. There was a, a lot of. Bands. There was a band I think that was called that. I know you guys had the soapboxers on here recently. Yep, soapboxers. Guy named Jeff Norby. Norby, what's up, man? That, uh, I think you have a show tonight, so you're not watching. He, uh, <laughs> I, he, I think he played drums for a band called Courage Under Chaos that came okay. out of Buoy and a lot, a lot of, a lot Did of. Did the really Cabaret really also come out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, I know you, Miles Barker. You, yeah, okay. Miles, so, yeah. Miles was on the show with his band, uh, the Cody Bryan Band. They're. Oh, I know they're not because they're playing tonight at Mercer Street okay. in uh, oh, Germany, really? so. okay, okay. but yeah Miles um, Norby and there's more than that there's That's Will awesome. Harris I, it's just like all of these people that I know and I've met uh, in the Austin music scene and there are so many of them that are just like oh we had a buoy and I'm like Ugh. What the weird. Fuck? That's, I mean, that's, that's really the first time just, I've heard that. Right? Yeah, I mean, I you look at the wall, and there's I buoy and buoy, and you know, I mean, it's damn, crazy. Well, I think Ryan, on. Ryan, did you Ryan Mark Ryder? I don't know if Ryan went to buoy also. Anyway, it's just tons of time. I mean, even just the the marching band program and the just the concert band program at buoy was 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 really good when when I was there. There was a guy and then you left, and now it's all shit. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> There's a guy named Bruce Dinkins that was teaching there that actually passed away a few years ago. He was a really, really good, really amazing, yeah, band instructor. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. so we have a, a it, it, if we're going to be laughing and, and on off screen stuff that's happening is because we have a new microphone we're using tonight and I tested the microphone out and this thing is ridiculously sensitive. It was picking up all sorts of stuff when me and Felicia, our internet director, did a little mic check with it. So... If you guys hear some like random shit happening in the background that's not us drinking beer and sipping it or beers being popped open, it's probably because the new microphone. So whatever. We'll find out when we go through the audio later and we hear the ghosts whispering. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was all like, yes. <laughs> um, so the band Colorblind, we jump. We're, this is what the show's about, is drinking beer and just bullshit. Sweet, yeah. So... Uh, colorblind. There was another name of the band, a previous incarnation yes. of the band. So, what's up with that? What it just well, migrated, changed members? Yeah. Or? So mm -hmm. the we we have actually had a little bit of a, of a high turnover as far as members is concerned. We've had a I think what band in Austin does it? Yeah, yeah it's true. It's very true. I think I'm like the third drummer. What I, I want to say? <laughs> yeah, there was a couple guys before, but they're they were they're terms were short. Even though that's short. <laughs> but. Um, so the event, the band was originally called the Night of, which um, was where we, we debuted all of our, you know, first music through mm -hmm. that under that name, and um, we 
We're a little concerned because there's an HBO show called The Night Of, where we got the name from. Uh, oh. And um, so we kind of, at first, when we were first getting started, we weren't really worried about it. Sure. And then once we started like selling shows. merchandise oh. and stuff like that, you know, we contacted. Right. Yeah. So we, we yeah. got in contact, we actually got in contact with oh. some of the lawyers from HBO just to make sure that we weren't overstepping any boundaries and they... Sure enough, told us that they were not comfortable with it. So they were—they were really actually super nice about it, and they super nice in telling you no. Yeah. Right. right. Uh, so we 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 so paid, changed it. We changed it. We we paid to get the name the night of copywritten as a musical act. Oh. So HBO was kind enough to reimburse us for that. Um, oh. Okay. And then yeah. yeah wow. Changed, that's pretty. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah, it, was yeah it was very nice. Yeah. It wasn't very expensive. It was just like it was like two hundred dollars. But still, I mean that's their problem. Like, yeah. It was, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was very <laughs> they're like, of them. Yeah, but yeah, they do this really was. to try to jump into some ridiculous lawsuit yeah. for some kids yeah, in we cannot Texas. That. Yeah. So yeah. So, yeah. so then it went from the night of. Mm -hmm. And then we made the switch to colorblind, I guess. How long has it been? About now? maybe like eight months months? Yeah, yeah, so like, so like let's take seven months. months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's still yeah. I mean, this past year's been a, a massive transitional period for the group. I mean, we're just kind of we're bringing Travis in for vocals, getting all new music recorded. We we actually have taken a good amount of time off of playing shows just to get our shit together, just okay. to get ready to yeah. start. The you know, the studio has been the main focus. I was say so. Y'all are in the studio recording right now. We or are. Yes. We've are you done? Is not it quite. okay? Not quite. We have one more <laughs> date yeah. uh, of studio time left. So put in tracks, and then you have to send it to get mastered. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So tell us when can anybody out there expect to see Colorblind? You know, on digital. That's well. Uh, we have our first single from our upcoming EP called Parting Words is available on all pretty much all music outlets uh, Apple Music Spotify I think Amazon Music iTunes and stuff like that so um, so that one is available everywhere but I think it, it probably won't be until we don't have a set date yet but it probably won't be until um, early summer or late spring before we release okay. another one so. um, and you're you're kind of laying off doing shows while you're doing that yeah that, that's how it's been for the past year we're actually planning on picking up and playing a lot more in 2019 yes so, so I was going to ask is like, so how is the funding going for the if you're not doing shows yeah it's it's, it's hard tough. it's been yeah. hard yeah. Yeah. Um, so uh, internet right before we went live internet director had asked a question and I'm going to throw this out for us watching live or when it comes back to playback um, where can colorblind so what's the Facebook the YouTube what's all the tags for so, people to find you guys. I think you can reach us all at Colorblind TX. Uh, that's on Instagram. Facebook, Instagram. Uh, but if you want to check out any of our music on like Spotify or Apple SoundCloud. Music, it's just uh, no, I don't think not SoundCloud. Not SoundCloud. We don't have anything on SoundCloud. Uh, but I think you just go to Colorblind on that. But just for anything else, I think that that name's just taken. So it, yeah, it's well, TX at the end. Okay, because I like uh, Kendall showed me. Uh, What's is the video? New video, old video? What was the song, the single that you showed me? You I played a single for me, but there's a video also that is yeah, floating out there. That, that one's so that's actually the music video that we shot uh, for Parting Words. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. That's what it was. You told me. Okay. So, which is that's pretty cool. Um, so on, yeah, because I try to look up Colorblind on YouTube and. Yeah, that was um, probably a lot of that was <laughs> that was a You're lot like, yes, of fucking oh, scroll like, like yeah. oh, that's not them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or like that doesn't look like white kids from Austin, Texas. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was kind of actually our concern when we chose that name. Is that man? There's probably a lot of bands that they're already called Colorblind, and we actually we did some research. And there's there were no copyrights. Yeah, no. There were no yeah, so where do you think? That okay, was, so where did Colorblind come from? We actually, I think it was. Our bass player's girlfriend, shout out to Katie, who, who, I think proposed the idea for Colorblind first, just, and just, we had just, a, yeah. just word vomit. It just came well, out. We had so a few other this. names that we were sort of thinking of, uh -huh. and we just settled on that one. Yeah. It, it was the one that everybody seemed to like. So, um, I still don't know why nobody's like bum piss. I just think that's you know bum piss. Bum piss. There's, There's gotta be somewhere. Right? <laughs> Somebody's got to. Hey man. It. Any town you go to where there's a music district, eventually you're gonna run into Bumpus. Oh, yeah. it may not be a band. You're gonna, but run you're into gonna, it. yeah, yeah, absolutely, <laughs> definitely. So yeah, especially down in the Waller 
Creek area yeah. here, Red <laughs> River. Or wearing washes. Um, wearing so, washes, yeah. so it just was proposed by the bass player's yeah. girlfriend. Yeah. And then, and, and what's the bass... He's still with you? He's still yes. with us. Okay, cool. Yeah. Nick Asper. He's so I was going to say, what's, what's the lineup of the band? So, uh... Nick Asper is our bass player. He also is sort of like our current in-house management, handles all of our booking and finances, and he's he's kind of the the muscle behind everything. Okay, yes. cool. Um, then we've got our guitar player, Justin Page, who joined us in 2017, summer 2017, cool. I believe. He's um, awesome. And that was dude. under the other name who joined y'all. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Um, but he's then, still with you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Player's still, okay. And then we've got a guy, Justin Hetrick, who is actually one of the founding members of the band. You so yeah, I'm like, I, I know that name. I'm yeah, like, oh, I'm really good with names. I'm like, I know he's played in a lot of uh, a played, lot of bands. He's uh, he played in a band called Unspoken Edition. Tragedy. Mm-hmm. Okay. And he played in a band called that, but I don't know any other band that he's played. Yeah. So so that's two guitar players, bass player. Mm-hmm. And then you can introduce yourself. Uh, Travis does yeah. vocals. Yeah, I'm Travis. I'm I'm the new vocalist. How long is your new vocalist? Like eight months new? Like about a year, year, about a year now. Band. Yeah, about a year. So you were with the band before it made the name change. Then yeah, yeah. but so all yeah, of you guys not are, very long. Okay. Yeah. 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 That's very cool. Yeah. So I mean, it's we're we have been super fortunate just to find a group of guys that work so well together. Yeah. We're, we're very close. And we don't have anybody that you know. Being in a band is, 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 a, is a challenging thing because it's like a marriage between five dudes, you know? So it's... Um, and, in Aust- and in Austin, so are there uh, any of you guys, either you two or any of the other guys that are, because it's Austin, in other projects also? Or are all five of you mm-hmm. dedicated to this and nobody's doing any other... Um, this, this band is pretty much all of our primary focus. Okay. Uh, Justin Hetrick, though, is... Is a uh, is getting really really good at production and songwriting and, and producing and stuff like that. So he's been being he's getting hired by some local bands to like produce their stuff okay. and, and do some co-writing with them. So he's he's kind of he's getting really really involved in sort of the behind the scenes stuff like the song production. production. Stuff. He does he does like all of our demos that we send to produce. I was gonna yeah. say so. Uh, is there a studio that y'all use here in town that you? Yeah, well, it's actually so Justin Justin Hetrick's He's got a studio at home, and we use that heavily. We're over yes. there writing, recording all the time. Uh, Nick Asper also has uh, an in-home recording setup as well, and so we have two two different guys in the band that we can kind of okay. go to to sort of get some writing ideas well, and stuff. Like and that. then you do the recording in the house, also. Yeah. Yeah. Well, obviously, so that I can see where that would make it easier and better. And that makes sense then for the like, oh, we don't have to go do shows to make money so that we can go buy studio time because exactly. you're, you know, the band is using. Yeah, you know, and we just try to, out. you know, we just try to sell as much merch as we can and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Yeah, it's it's a uh, so so we do we do all of our own demos and stuff like that, and then once we're ready to get a, a record done mm-hmm. professionally, we'll we'll reach out to. You. Uh, different producers and outs- yeah. outsource for that and go. Do you yeah. have anybody in mind for uh, the new upcoming? The unknown. Well, actually, for this this past for for the EP that we're getting ready to release, we've recorded with uh, three different studios. Okay. Uh, one of them is look. It's called Black Book Sound, located in Spring, Texas. It's run run by a guy named Robbie Joyner, who's a really really uh, incredibly good producer and songwriter uh, he yeah. also works with a guy named Richie Wykander who plays drums for Fire From The Gods that's a local really band. yeah yeah. so Richie has been very instrumental on uh, helping us with this record helping us write uh, helping us write uh, production and stuff like that so Black Book Sound in Spring, Texas that's one of the places we went to for a couple of songs we went to LA to record at Gray Area Studios with a guy named Eric Ron mm-hmm and then we also went to Las Vegas in December nice. to record at a, at a music studio called The Hideout with a guy. Last month. Last month, yeah. Yes. Okay. So, uh, we recorded with two guys named Rob Inling and Curtis Martin. Those guys, actually, Rob Inling and Curtis Martin were the guys who produced and recorded our, our debut EP. Thanks, sir. Yeah, under the night. Of- All right, everybody. Thank you very much for tuning in to that episode of Three Beers and a Whiskey featuring Colorblind. Make sure you uh, hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon for notifications so you won't miss future videos from Three Beers and a Whiskey.